Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. We are still in our dump truck. We are parked up. I've been getting donuts because I'm a fat fatty. I've been getting donuts. Now we are parked up here, uh, not for the fuel, but on the other side of the fuel is something we've not done yet. Something we probably need to do. If you watched the last episodes, you'll know we had a little, a little issue with our load and it got stuck, and we had to use a little bit of BFT. To, uh, to get it out a little bit blunt force trauma um, so we're going to see how uh, repair works because I've not done any repairing I'm not even sure what we have to do I'm here I'm on it turn the engine off repair vehicle ok so whether the vehicle had issues prior. Um, I don't know. We just got a little achievement now for uh, like new repair the vehicle. Also, we've unlocked uh, an achievement. Um, heavy duty delivered cargo that's heavier than twenty tons. So we've uh, we've been doing our achievements. This is the same day as the last episode, by the way. Same shirt. Uh, <laughs> because I just enjoy playing the game when I get going. I just I love how simple it is. There's there's something that's undeniably enjoyable and fun about simplicity so I can get rid of my um, mappy map map stuff hopefully uh, because we've already had an issue with OBS it won't give out on me again this time but we'll, we'll be aware we'll try and take note so let's check for traffic there is none. Come on. Anytime today, lights. There we go. That was a quick change as well. Right rounds. So we're going to look for a. A large double dump delivery, quite a distant one, because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be quite time consuming. And then afterwards, I'm not sure what our finances are like, but afterwards, we'll have a little look and we will see if we can afford ourselves even the smallest car. Because I think we might be able to. I think with the money we have, we might be able to get ourselves a car. We'll know after we've done or when we do this job. I think we need about 40 grand, I think, for a cheap car. 40 grand. A little further on. different construction sites so we're not going where all those boulders will be everywhere and a trailer everywhere because they wouldn't have despawned yet <laughs> it's always probably still be there because we haven't entered a load screen so be prepared for a load of faffing about again uh, double dump we want a lot 10 14 15 we'll take the 15 grand please that's what we want. Oh, it's nearly 30,000. Uh, yeah, nearly 30,000 kilos. Nearly 30, 30 tons. And then it's a long one all the way back down to the south where we started. So I think for this one, for the convenience of it, we will go out of cab and try and be a little bit quicker. Try and be a little bit quicker with it. Let's see if I can magically improve after no extra practice We've, I've not done any other jobs I've not gone and done another dump truck delivery or anything I just drove into town and parked up that was all I did between episodes oh you swine <laughs> coming too quick Uh, 
that's it. Reset it. Got one out of the back as well. How many is that one? Oh, it's two more. Two more. So this could be like four. Uh, yeah. If I wanted four, I'd have got three. That little one's going to pop out, cause me problems. There we are, that's one of them done. Well, I think thus... I think we've been more efficient than we were last time out. So we can scoop them in. Lovely. I think they've tested it and they know that three is the easy number to get in there. So instead of making it six or nine, we've made it seven to fill the load. Because <laughs> that would be the the most awkward. Fell out. Fell out. Or perhaps just to give you leeway for for the ones that fall out. Since you're gonna have to go back for a third one anyway. Perhaps they did it to be kind to idiots like myself. Fell out the back again. What is... What's going on here? This is falling out the back of my truck. Is it because there's already... Did we still have one in there still? I didn't check. Do we still have that random one? This causing us problems. If I go higher up... If you remember last time out, we had one still stuck in there at the end. No, we didn't. It, it, it did come out. It did come out. Come on. Oh, you kill me, you bugger. Right. There we go, it's a little bit better placed. It's tough, tough old work, I tell you, tough old work. This construction work. It's a tough life. Oh dear. Sign up to be a delivery driver. Oh yeah, by the way, you also need to know how to use a telehandler, a telefork, um, and a wheel loader. Oh, and a skid steer. And a, and a forklift truck. And a pallet truck. All, all, all on the CV, please. Right, let's go. Another one. I didn't, I didn't check the finances. Where are we? Oh, we're at 45 grand. We should get, yeah, we'll be a bit 50 grand, won't we? That's enough for a car. Of some sort. And then we'll see what a car can do. And then we will have had all the vehicles that I wanted. Oh, I'm worried about the monster truck. If you want me to come back and do the monster truck after this episode, 
down in the comments. That's where you need to let me know, and we'll we'll grind out 150 grand, and I'll come back, and I will. I don't know, do whatever we do in a monster truck, piss about in the hills for half an hour or something. <laughs> I don't know. Another donut spot here. They love a donut. I wonder if they do waffles as well. Donuts, waffles. What I like. My, my boy likes a waffle. Chocolate, a chocolate waffle. Chocolate filled waffle. Um, I like a brioche. Now, a chocolate brioche, a pan of chocolat, that sort of thing. It's so Moorish. Honestly, I swear they put crack in them. Especially the ones you get from Tesco's. I'm here in the UK. I assume I would call Tesco's. Tesco's chocolate brioche. Tesco's pan of chocolat. It's like crack. We're, we've gone round over the roundabout. That stuff is so Moorish. So Moorish. Like they come in a packet of eight, you eat one, sometimes two, um, and then when you go to the cupboard the next day you get another one out, they're all gone because you actually sat in there more you found. What's the <laughs> Oh dear. Be buying for the kids so they can have something of a different choice for breakfast sometimes, and yeah, they end up in my belly within two days. Uh, they go good with coffee, they go good with a cup of tea, they go good sneakily at like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh. oh man, that's weird. Pain in the back, so I can get that in it. Oh, it's right round the back as well. Yeah, it's pain in the backside. I'm not desperate for it. We've got enough money to buy a car, I think. As long as we've got money for a car and some fuel, we're good. They've seen so I must have seen an extra nine. Which isn't a lot, considering we've got collected four, and there's 50 of them. So, 13. I don't know where all, all the nine were, and by the time we reach our delivery point, our drop-off, I'm not going to remember where that is. I don't look at the map enough, and it's not like you can put down little markers and save. I don't even know if when we move our cursor over the... Our cursor? Our cursor over the over the map if it gives us like any sort of coordinates we could jot down to be like oh there's one there's one that's where we should go collect I doubt it that's the cruise boat we've got to land on that as well obviously not say so obviously not today probably not today unless by some freak occurrence that when we buy our car it spawns us near a jump and the, uh, the ferry is is there at the same time then we might give it a go but I don't think I don't think that's going to be on the cards for today. <clears throat> it does feel like that that very first van that we had that feels so long ago now, and it's not like this is the quickest I've sort of played for, played through a planned series ever unheard of for me. I've, be I've become a bit lax and I've become a bit like one of those channels that I really get frustrated with at times where we start something but never finish it. And um, yeah, so that's why I knew that my, my goal in this was attainable and um, yeah, so sort of cracked on with it. And again, it's, it's not at no point has this felt like a chore to do. Yeah, sometimes, as much as I enjoy my farm sim, sometimes it can feel like a chore to have to do that next episode because you put so many, so many hours into it. It, it is like a job, and it's a hobby. It, it feels like a job. It's my fun thing. Um, Snowrunner, absolutely love Snowrunner, but it's it has been an absolute bitch to me on my hard mode series. We have rolled trucks like 
tenfold to what we roll trucks in the normal mode on areas where you just don't normally roll trucks. <laughs> it's been crazy. It has been so mean to me. And I will get back to it and I will dominate her and we will win. But yeah, it, it just hurt my feelings. So it got left on the shelf for a bit, but that's, that'll be back soon. Some of the farm sim series, like I say, they just sort of disappeared because of time restraints. And I, I really, I really like the vintage oaks map. I really like playing on it. It's beautiful. Um, I was, I was enjoying making my episodes for it, but they were taking six to ten, sometimes more hours from pressing record, not even from pressing record, from setting up to recording. I had to have to stop to do a little bit more setup and prep to record in again. Sometimes recording three times with three different setup and preps. Uh, and then editing all that down, processing it, uploading it. Like, I'm sure two of those combined, or from all that combined, for at least two of them, was uh, like over 18 hours for a 25 minute video. 18 hours for a 25 minute video that I think maybe 300 people watched in its first week. That's just not an efficient way to spend my time, unfortunately. And after having my whole mod incident um, a few weeks back, now by the time this comes out. But, yeah, after losing all my mod folders, like getting all those mods back, and I got a lot of the vintage stuff and the older stuff was from third-party websites and different itches and stuff like that. I don't remember where I got it all from, so to have all that back in that save now would be near impossible for me to do in any sort of time frame. It's it's all I've been able to do to get um, my Terra Life save back with most of its mods because some of the third-party mods aren't there, but that was a very, excuse me, a very minimal mod uh, save and playthrough because Terra Life is, excuse me, quite extensive. And um, I've got the the member series back up and running, and I've recorded one of those um, after losing my mod folders. And I think I still had like two or three active mods missing, uh, so they'll they, they got changed out for something else, or will get changed out for something else. Again, this is how far ahead I am at recording this to what else is out there on, on the channel. And again, that is a testament to how much fun I'm having while I do it. How relaxing it is, and how just this is a bit of me. Okay, this is a bit of me. But I'm, I'm also like that with um, ETS and ATS when I play it. When I get going in ETS and ATS, I, and I usually go if I play them for me, or if I'm doing all my ETS and I'm doing like deliveries in the background to try and crank up, crank up, crank up some money for us. It's usually on a Sunday afternoon, after I've done the stream, so I'll often do my Sunday morning stream, or the Sunday morning video as well, and then sometimes I'll sit and I'll, if, you know, I've provided my partners at home and the kids are behaving, I can sit and I'll play that all day, from end of stream, at about midday, until like, <laughs> we have our evening dinner at like half five, six o'clock. So sit do five hours of that. Just ETS. Listening to music, watching videos. Little boy will come in and have a little chat with me. Um, sometimes you often hear me say at the end of my streams I'll go and I'll do a little bit of farming with a boy if he's been good. And we do that for an hour. Sometimes not even an hour, you know, he's four. He attention doesn't last that long. He just wants a little bit of daddy's attention. Doing the thing that we both like doing. And this is another one. I mean, Come off a stream, come off a recorded session, boot this up, and do some deliveries, and just the time would just fly fly away. That's why it would be nice if there was a little bit more of a goal to work to rather than just accumulating lots of cash. It's, it would be nice if there was a little bit more of a variety to um, load types without having to change, you know, your vehicles so much. I know once you've got the bigger trucks, there are lots of varieties there. But even when we're just loading up pallets, it'd be nice if they were, if the different warehouses had a different product 
just so some of the boxes look different. So if we did, even if it was like bricks to roof tiles to, you know, tinned, <laughs> tinned food. I love the crazy, crazy AI. Don't ever fix it, please. It's nuts. Um, yeah, just things like that. Just add that little extra variety. And um, I'd probably not get off. Oh, mate, you keep going. Quite a trip, this one's like a 15 minute drive. And that's like the map, top to bottom of the map, 15 20 minutes in, in a vehicle like this with this sort of load. And that's 15 grand. Yeah, like a, a thousand creditos a minute. Quite a wage, wasn't it? How much do you earn? Oh, a thousand pounds a minute. <laughs> Where are we dumping? Some way good. Drive <laughs> underneath the suspended pipes. We're all about health and safety. So. So, if we can get them in there from here, we go. Hopefully, shake them out a little bit. Is that all out? That's all out. Excellent. That was um, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let me go get ours on it. Hey, come. Where are you? Ain't got another stuck again, are we? What we have? It's a bit weird, isn't it, that they get stuck? I say it's not a perfect game. I guess this is a little, a little something extra, right? Come on, you want to come out? You do want to come out? Break my van again. There we go. It's out. <laughs> it's out. Oh dear. Well, I don't know if we had to pay to repair the truck, so it doesn't make much difference. Uh, but there's our fifteen grand, and that brings us up to sixty-one. So. I'm not too worried about the state of this because we are going to go to our garage. Just like that. And now that we're here, we're going to go to car. 43 grand. 69. We're a little bit out. So we can only buy the smallest car. Buy the Audi. So we're going to get to buy an Audi. I'll decorate it and I'll see you on the road. So there we have it, Farquhar's Executive Motors, all branded up in blue. So it's just a shame, just a shame we can't get the extra brands on here. So what we'll do, we will quickly have a razz about on a car. Um, we've got to find a way out somehow. Um, left, maybe, out of here. Yeah, that was well. Ooh. We'll, we'll be flying around looking for, for pallets another day. Now that we've got the little car, we should be able to get places. Like, down there on the front and having to look for stuff. No doubt that's where it all is. That's where the goodies will be. Right, so... We're not going to go to a construction site because I'll just be loading up a thing. Oh, mate, that's my new car. <laughs> Let's head into town so we can get... Oh, it's got a little... Pogue, can it? 
It sits so low now as well. Right, which way do I want to go? I'm going to go down. It's using the sat nav now. And we shall. Oh, we need to get fuel. Go do that. We go get petrol. Hey, what are you waiting for? Come on. You're indicating. Come on. I feel like we're sitting so low. Low, 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 low. Right, let's get gas. Get the gas. Spunk some more money on petrol. Right, we're going to be a bit naughty. Just going to shoot off the corner here. Then we're going to go this way. I don't know. I'm not quite sure which one's the way in again. Just have to do a do a lap. There we go. See what this one's got me. I, I, I doubt it's going to be much more than pulling a, I don't know, a power thing. Um, have we pulled a yellow one? I don't know if we have. That's gone quite well. We don't want a massive distance because we've already done a long one. There we go. That'll do us. That'll do us. It's um, two grand. So our little generator is there. It's nice. We can see do we have a we have a reverse camera here as well, but we can look out the back. This is our man reverses. One arm behind the chair. That's it. That's me again. Look at that. Where have I gone? Where have I gone? We've been wearing the same tracksuit since forever. Since forever. So we get one of those as well. You never know what the uh, thumbnail might be now. Right. Way out. I was wondering if me um, sat that was right. Why oh, was this not updated? I was checking that I had the thing on the back. I do. So hopefully. Hopefully that's going to update and take me where I want to get to. I think it has. It has now. Right. I was a little bit behind on that, wasn't it? Oh, it's there now, it's there now. So this delivery shouldn't take us but a few minutes. I wonder how many crashes we'll have and if we'll get caught speeding. I imagine we will. It's too easy not to. Again sounds completely different to the other vehicles that we've driven. I can't remember where I saw it. I'm not sure if it was in one of um, Ellipse Gamer's comments or if it was on Steam or somewhere, but this is the person that said that they all, all the vehicles sound exactly the same means their ears tested. Because they certainly do not sound the same. You know, I imagine that the Scania trucks sound similar. I imagine the different type of man trucks sound similar. But to say that they all sound the same is just, well, hating for hate's sake. We finally got traffic as well, look at that. And I haven't had to use the, uh, the manual gears to the point that I'd forgotten I even had it, so I can crank them all the way up. Up to fifth, sixth gear, we can just cruise. It'll automatically shift me down as soon as I probably take my foot off. We can just cruise now at 60 or oh, 96, 100. It's 130 up here. We're going to be slowing down. We want to be coming off. We've arrived already. Straight on over. Quick glance, quick glance. We're going in. There we are. And there you go, you've got your your power generator. Wonder if it'll accept on the side. It will. Look at that. Perfect. Two grand. Done. And just like that, my friends. I uh, get myself sorted. 
just like that. That is the end of another episode. And unless you guys want me to come back and do the monster truck or do something else, that's the end of this series. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this game. Uh, if you enjoy a driving simulator, if you enjoy any sort of delivery simulator, if you enjoy live simulators and just sort of going off and making money and doing stuff, I highly recommend this game. I have had so much fun with this game over the last 20 hours. I had an absolute blast. Is it perfect? No. Is there room for improvement? Yes, definitely. Hopefully. I hope, 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 hope the devs are still working on this game. I know that they're sort of focused on a on a mobile port, or that's, that's the word around anyway. Um, this game is available on PC, it's available on Xbox, it's available on PlayStation, it is available on Switch, so a mobile port wouldn't be too hard, I don't think. Whether that means that it's completely limited, as it's not going to get any deeper than it is, that would be a shame. Throw us some, some DLCs so we can customise some stuff, that would be good. But if again, if you enjoy this sort of game, give this one a try. I am in no way affiliated with Aerosoft, I hate Aerosoft. I'm not affiliated with Simi Games, this is the first time I've ever heard of them. But I've enjoyed this game, and I will say that you would too if you enjoy games that I enjoy. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this one, if you've enjoyed this episode, if you've enjoyed this series at all, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to this, if this is the first one you've caught, please go back to the beginning. Watch the journey that we took through the different vehicles, through the different deliveries. Um, like I said, I've had fun with it. And if you have enjoyed any part of this and you haven't yet, scroll down the description, click on Ellipse Gamer and go check out some of his content because he is the one that put me onto this game. He showed me its improvements, made me want to buy it, made me want to share it with you guys. So go show him some love as well. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.